Okay, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Hello, my friend. <laughs> I've got it all mixed up. I'm recording a lot of videos today, so y'all are going to see the same hair, same no makeup, same outfit, everything. I've been tagged quite a bit here lately, and I don't want to get behind on these. Um, uh, 360 Nails TV tagged me back in the beginning of May for this tag. This is the I Love Nail Polish tag, and I thought I had done this one before, but I can't find it. So, maybe I've done something similar, and that's why. This one has 10 questions, so I'm going to hop right on in. Favorite base coat? Well, if you've been around for a half a minute, you know, I love Nail Teaks Formula 2. I've, there's been a lot of them I really love. I used to love Orly Bonder. I loved um, the Jury Rejuva coat. But my body chemistry changed and my nails started having peeling problems and splitting problems. And this is the only thing that works. This is expensive. I did not want to get hooked on something expensive. But every time I stopped using it, my nails went to crap. Sorry if I'm being, talking ugly. Um, but they just would. They would um, just get janky. And so I'm starting to buy this in the, in the big bottle. The, the big big bottle, if I can get it in frame, big bottle, um, and refill my little bottle, and that's the only way I can afford to do it. I buy the big bottle off of eBay and, you know, refill that one. Favorite top coat, everybody knows, Posh. And my bottle, I, I buy the big, huge bottle of this, too, and my bottle, you can't even read the writing on it hardly anymore. It's just barely there. So I love Posh. Top three favorite nail polish brands. Okay. I'm going to stick to mainstream because I don't want to step on any toes in the indie world because I love indie polish. I'm like obsessed with it right now. Um, Y'all see my haul videos, you know. Um, I'm going to say Zoya. Zoya is one of my favorites. Not so much that their colors are so unique or anything like that. But their formulas are almost always spot on for me. I like the bottles, I like the brushes, I like, you know, so I like, I like Zoya. That's one. Simple colors, hands down, drugstore, best thing ever. Love, love me some simple colors. The only thing about them is their glitter toppers are stingy. And we talked about that before too. Um, and then my third one would have to probably be China Glaze. China Glaze does come out with some amazing colors, and they're, you know, they step outside the box a lot. Um, okay, got cut off by the battery. I swear, it's just, it's crazy. I keep like three or four of them charged all the time, because <laughs> I just don't have good luck with batteries. China Glaze. China Glaze has some cool, they come out with cool collections. The colors are awesome. And China Glaze is notorious for having bad formulas, though. Not always. They've got some that have really good formulas. But some of them are bad formulas, but you put up with them because in the end, the color is so good. So that's what I'm going to say. And I need to get a bump on down the road on this because I haven't even hit number four yet. How often do you paint your nails? I would paint my nails every night if I could. But see, I have to go to work and then I have to come home and I have to take a nap with my dog. and. Then I get up and I cook dinner, and then, you know, next thing I know, night's over. Um, so, um, since I can't paint them every night, I at least paint them at least two or three times a week. At least. So, I think that's pretty good. All right, number five, favorite neutral nail polish. Okay, I'm going to push pause because I'm going to go grab it. I'll be right back. Okay, this is it, if I can get it in frame. This is OPI. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see all that gorgeousness in there. I'm trying to see if you can see it. This is called DS Classic. Let me see if I can get it to... So I'm not used to camera being up there. I'm not used to showing my face. DS Classic. This is something that Kenny Nicole turned me on to. And... <laughs> heifer. <laughs> she was talking about this one and going on and on about it. And about how, you know, it's just so classy and clean and... It's kind of like a palette cleanser, and you can wear it anywhere. I don't care what kind of place you work in. You can wear this anywhere. So she started talking about that. Well, I only am looking for it, and I ended up with, like, 20 other ones because I'm looking at my shelf. <laughs> so, um, yeah. 
that's mine Diaz classic okay number six pink or red nail polishes I like both but you guys know pink's my winner I mean I love pink polish when I look at my collection like if I put mine in a rainbow order y'all pink would just tear it up I would have probably two or three times more pinks than any other shade in the rainbow. It's just crazy. I can't stop buying them. Alright. Number seven, glitter or matte nail polish? I'm going to say glitter because I do like me some bling and some glitter and some shininess and everything. Um, I am starting to get into matte polishes though. Not really matte polishes but doing a manicure and then mattifying it. And I think that has something to do with the like the chrome duochrome flakies they just look so cool mattified and so I'm kinda starting to gravitate that way which is just really mind-blowing because I never really liked matte polish so next let's number eight your go-to nail polish at the moment mm, I don't have one um, because I've got so much nail polish that I'm constantly trying to work my way through them all that I don't have a go-to nail polish per se. Now, if I've done something or I'm in a rush, okay, what I was meaning to say, so if I've done something I didn't like and I have to take it off and I'm in a rush and it's like getting close to bedtime and I'm just, you know, crunched, I normally go for a hollow polish, like a Color Club hollow or one of my Jade hollows. Um, normally because I can paint with them real quickly, not make too much of a, too much of a mess, and I can, um, they dry down pretty quick, so I can go to bed without worrying about messing anything up. So, um, that's my go-to, is just a hollow polish. Okay, number nine, what's on your nails now? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Which is crazy, I know. Um, but it's because it's nail polish day, and as soon as I get do, do, done doing these tag videos, I'm going to be working on a collab video. I've got a collab coming up, too, so I'm talking nothing on the nails. Nothing. So, okay. I have no color or no design, no nothing. Okay, so the last question. If you had a nail polish line, what would you name it? Okay, well... I'm just going to have to stick to my brand, you know, what I've been working on the last two years, and that's Moon Baby Nails. And um, it might not be, it might be just called Moon Baby or, I don't know. It would definitely have something to do with the moon. <laughs> I just know that much. It just, it was just, you know, crazy. So, um, I'm going to keep my tags secret. I'm going to list them down below in the comments. I'm going to go through my, um, my humongous file of subscriptions and I'm going to tag some people that I've never tagged and I'm going to tag some people that maybe are just starting their channel or have been working on trying to grow their channel and they might be channels you've missed and you don't know about so I'm going to tag some maybe some surprises so definitely look down below and see but the lovely thing about tag videos is you don't have to specifically be tagged you can take tag questions and just run with them and do them I encourage everyone to do that. I don't want anybody feeling left out. Everybody is always, especially if I do them, always welcome to do these tags. So, there you have it. <laughs> Alright, well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this, and that is it. So, until next time, be good to yourself. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye.